So when it comes to creating your ebooks or your paperback and selling them on Amazon KDP, there's a lot of options of softwares that you can use to create and generate everything that you need to do. However, I have tested a lot of them and I've come up with a list of the best softwares that you can use to create your ebooks or paperback. Right from softwares you can use to do your research, to design, to write, to compile, to format your A plus content, translation, all the softwares you need for every of the process. And these ones are the ones that I've tested and used over a period of years and I can say that okay, these softwares are actually the best ones for you to use. So when it comes to the softwares you can use to do your research whenever you want to create an ebook or a paperback on Amazon KDP, there are five basic softwares I use to do my niche research on Amazon. The first one I use is the Amazon's advertising suggestions. This one is primarily when you want to advertise a book on Amazon. Amazon shows you keywords that are very viable that you can bid on. These keywords actually give you an idea of the keywords that people are actually looking for and your fellow competitors are using these same keywords to get sales for their book the next one is the dx amazon quicks view this one is to tell you the best seller rank of the book so that you don't have to take so much of your time looking at individual books you can just at a glance on the search page see the best seller rank of the books that are in that niche the next software is the helium 10 helium 10 has a lot of uses but primarily what i use it for is to check the history of the best seller rank of best selling books in a particular niche then you can also use the amazon search expander that also helps you to expand the keywords so you can see as many variations of keywords that are in that particular niche so there are other softwares you can use to know if a niche is profitable or not i made an entire video of these softwares and how you can use them and i'll leave a link in the description you can just go and watch it when it comes to writing the actual content for your ebook and your paperback the software that i use is microsoft word i also use wps and i also use indesign to write but primarily i use microsoft word to write because of the freedom it gives it's easy to use and you know, it's something that we have been using for a very long time, so it's just easy to navigate. So when it comes to formatting my books, I actually use InDesign to format my books. And some people can actually use Microsoft to format their own book, but I prefer just taking what I've done in Microsoft Word, bringing it to InDesign and formatting it in InDesign. It's just easier. And InDesign is like the industry standard when it comes to formatting books. It just makes everything easy for you so when it comes to illustrating especially for those of us that are more into coloring books and books that need some form of illustration my go-to software for that is adobe illustrator adobe illustrator gives you everything you need for illustrations it's like the industry standard you can do anything you can create anything using adobe illustrator and i also have this for my adobe illustrator which is a drawing tablet this helps you to just create perfect illustrations just like you're using your hand to draw a piece of paper it just makes everything easier and if you're using your mouse it's going to take a lot of time and you cannot get some designs perfectly compared to if you are using a drawing tablet i already have a video on how i use this drawing tablet to create illustrations i'll leave a link in the description if you want to watch it you can just go and watch it so now when we now come to the compilation the software i use to compile my book because sometimes you have text you have images you have a lot of things inside your book and you want to compile all of them together the software i use for the compilation that just makes everything easy for me is InDesign. so if i have illustrations from adobe illustrator and i also have writings in my microsoft word i bring them all to InDesign, and InDesign is what i now use to compile everything format them properly then export them to the particular format that i want to export them to whether for ebook or for paperback so when it comes to cover design i actually use three different softwares for cover design i use canva i use photoshop and i use illustrator but i use them differently for canva i use canva for sketches usually when i'm about creating my cover what i want to do is that i want to get like a sketch i want to get a rough picture of how my cover is going to look like and i use canva to just do that but i don't actually create my full cover on canva where i now actually create my cover is in photoshop or illustrator so for illustrator i only use illustrator when i have illustrations in my cover primarily because i'm creating a book that has to do with illustrations, maybe like a coloring book so i have to do the illustrations on illustrator itself after doing that i can now create the cover on illustrator but for photoshop if there's no illustration whatsoever on the cover i can just use photoshop to create the cover but if there's illustration i use adobe illustrator so when it comes to my a plus content what i actually use for my a plus content is photoshop photoshop is like the go-to software for a plus content because it just makes everything easy so i already made a video of how i use photoshop to create a plus content i'll leave a link in the description you can just go and watch it you can see the step-by-step -step process that i use for photoshop everything you need to know and if you don't have photoshop you can also use photobia which is actually like a free version of photoshop that you can use and create your a plus content and it's going to give you exactly the same results that photoshop itself is going to give you if you have not already subscribed to this channel hit the subscribe button 
right now. So when we now come to book translations, when you are trying to translate your book from one language to the other, the software I use is Google Translate. I already made a video of how I use Google Translate to translate my books from one language to the other. I'll leave a link in the description. You can just go and watch it. But if you are now doing a book that has a lot of content in it, you want to use DPL. DPL is actually better. If it is just a low content book where maybe just few words are there, you can just easily use Google Translate. But when you have a lot of content in it, then you should be using DPL. DPL is the best when it comes to that. And Amazon also have their own translate of Amazon Translate, but that one is kind of paid. So you have to pay Amazon to do that. But for DPL, you can just use DPL. And you can also use ChatGPT to help you in terms of tone, context and other things but DeepL is like the go-to software when you're having heavy content on your book so it's one thing for you to create a book and it's another thing for you to actually sell the book on amazon kdp now there are certain things you have to know in order for you to be successful on amazon kdp now if you want to know those particular things that you have to do in order for you to start getting sales on amazon kdp then watch this video i explain the five most important things that you need to do in order for you to start getting sales on amazon kdp